Mahi Mahi, AKA Dorado, AKA Dolphin. There's no better place to catch Slammer Dolphin than in the Florida Keys. Uh, we're a little late, I think, for the peak of their bite. Uh, we're, we're late June, uh, early July right now, but uh, we're gonna head offshore. And uh, we've got the, the Bally's rigged, we've got the Bonita strips rigged, and stay tuned and see if we can find some fish. Right, so we're about uh, 20, 20 miles off Marathon, uh, seeing some really good scattered weed, some good bird activity, just a lot of little fish. That fish we just caught was just a keeper, so we're going to slide further offshore and see if we can get into some, some bigger fish. All right, so we've been making a uh, move further to the south offshore here. Um, we've caught a handful of uh, throwbacks. Uh, just got into a nicer piece of water, pretty good edge outside of us. Just put a small, you know, decent sized schoolie in the boat, but I think we're gonna be able to uh, hopefully produce a little bit more fish here. So let's see what happens. All right, so we've been catching fish, but most of them have just been singles on the troll. Um, the Bonita Strip has definitely, on the troll, been the hot bait. It's been out fishing the Ballyhoo all day. Um, we're almost probably 30, 35 off, and just got into a good area here. The last bite we had on the troll, actually had some more fish with it. Again, having a hard time finding gaffer-sized fish, but nevertheless, we're having fun, and we're getting tight, so we'll keep catching them. On the Bonita Strip. On the Strip. Woo! Yo, it's gonna be nice. Best fish of the day.
Butterfingers. All right, so had a great day. Got offshore about 35 miles, Marathon, Florida. Kids caught a bunch of fish. I worked the gooch to death in the cockpit. He was rigging baits all day. Caught a lot of fish, didn't catch a lot of big fish, um, but we got dinner. We're gonna get home and we'll see you back at the dock. All right, so I uh, was hoping to maybe get lucky and catch a slammer today or some gaffers. Just wasn't that kind of a day. Uh, beautiful day offshore. Uh, we ended up probably close to 35 miles offshore. Bounced around on a, different, a bunch of different spots. Caught probably at least 30 dolphin. Uh, better than half of them were throwbacks and most of the fish were just legal up to, you know, six, eight pounds. Um, but the truth of the matter is, those are my favorite eating fish. They're just the best to eat. So, um, caught the fish, boat, we're back at the dock, boat's clean, time to clean the fish. We're gonna do a, um, a catch, cook, clean, or a catch, clean, cook video for you guys. Um, so here with the dolphin, um, pretty simple fish, easy fish to fillet. Uh, you wanna make sure you definitely have a sharp knife. I've got a nine inch, uh, well sharpened bubble blade knife here. And I'm gonna run right up the back of this fish, like so. I just basically let the knife do all the work slide that knife right down. I'm gonna go right down the backbone, come across right down behind the gill plate of the fish. And then I like to come across with the knife. I'm gonna stay right on top and just kind of let the knife ride right on top. The spine of the fish, like so. There we go. Now, now that we've got the filet, there's a couple of ways that you can do this. Some guys like to actually, they'll pull the actual skin of the dolphin off of the filet. Um, I don't care to do it that way because I find that a lot of the, the texture or some of the hair behind, if you will, the skin of that fish gets left behind and just doesn't taste as good. So I'll just take my knife and just get a nice, almost a, a flat angle and just slowly work the knife right down that filet, like so. And basically just gonna essentially filet that skin off where you've got a nice clean filet like so. That will be step one. Flip it over. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'll take my knife, go right down the back of that fish. I'm gonna actually come out right about here and just fillet right back down to the tail. Take my knife once again, ready to go like so. There we go. Filet, nice and clean. Flip it over on that side. Go right back down like we just did over there. And just filet that skin right off. Now, one of the things I'll also tell you is that leaving your fish on ice for a little bit longer. So right now I'm just taking that rib cage out, like so. The colder your filet is, the colder the meat is on the fish, the, the easier it is to clean, the easier it is to filet. So let your fish rest on that ice a little bit longer and you'll find when it's all said and done that you're gonna have a much firmer meat, much easier fish, Two filet. Blood lines out. We just have some small little dolphin finger fillets. 
All right, I've still got a, a bucket of fish to fillet here, but I'll spare you, obviously, uh, the exercise of going through all of those. But as you can see, we've, uh, we've got a nice little stack of beautiful dolphin fillets here. Um, great day on the water with uh, my boys, my buddy Scott and his son Brody. And uh, all we need to do now is uh, season these little things up and uh, enjoy a nice meal together. So next up, uh, we'll take you guys inside the kitchen and just show you a real simple way um, to season these fillets up throw them on the grill, a cast iron skillet, or whatever you want to do. Um, and sometimes less is more when it comes to uh, fillets like these. So we'll see you guys in the kitchen. All right, so we're in the kitchen. We had a great day of fishing, family, friends, caught some decent dolphin. Not, didn't set any records, but we got some great table fare here. And um, we're ready to cook it up, the fish are filleted. So I got my good buddy Scott Costello. You see the frame on him, right? He, he didn't get this size because he doesn't like to eat or doesn't know how to cook. I like so, to eat. <laughs> so I said, hey, what are we gonna do with this fish? Dolphins are light fish. These are smaller fillets. He said, bun, the Costellos have some world famous fish tacos. I said, you're talking my language right now. Delicious. So. We're gonna do a couple of little different types of tacos here today, right? Correct. correct. Uh, the first thing we wanna show you guys that are watching the video is some of the ingredients that we've got going into this. So Scott, what do we got? How are we gonna season the fish up? Let's start with that. Why don't you talk about what you're gonna put on the fish season-wise? Sure, we started with a little olive oil to get a little base on the uh, fish to keep it from sticking on the grill. Then I have a little special mixture here. Some of it we just picked up locally. Uh, the Key West Spice Company has a little lime flavored seasoning, which we're gonna add that. What plus, else you got? Plus we have a little garlic powder, onion powder, smoked paprika, and the old famous uh, Paul's Black and Red Fish seasoning. Nice. So we're just so gonna we sprinkle that on there. Okay. Cover it up. No science to this, right? So you're just gonna just, douse it on? Some people like it a little more, some people like it a little less. On vacation cooking, we like to have options. So this is gonna be a nice basic, and then we can put a little, couple other ingredients in there. So now, so all of the fish that goes into the tacos is gonna have, this, the fish is gonna be the same, it's a matter of how we dress it, is that right? Correct, correct. Okay. We're gonna do two different preps. We're gonna do a traditional Tex-Mex, which the kids typically like a little better, with the cheese and onions and salsa. And then we're gonna do one with a little cabbage, and my daughter Cameron is adding a little mango and some other seasonings. So, I mean, I don't know if we're picking up the colors in this right now, but like I am getting hungry just looking at what's in front of me. So real quick, the ingredients, the toppings, what do we got here? Sure, we diced up some fresh cilantro. We have some fresh jalapeno, some green onion, some red onion, tomatoes, a bunch of limes, mango, queso cheese, and nice. uh, a blend of cabbages. Okay, and you already talked about the cilantro. So these are the whole veggies before we actually broke them down and got them to this point. Um, and in terms of the the soft taco that's gonna get the cabbage. Correct. What, what are we blending together with that again? Cameron, do you wanna take this one? We're gonna add some mango, all this good stuff here, lime, and then some seasoning, that's really it. Now, what about, uh, we've got some sour cream as well. Is that going on the Tex-Mex or which one are we hitting No, that's that? a lime crema. That's gonna be garlic, lime, and salt and pepper. Beauty. So, I'm calling this segment Cooking with the Costellos. Hey, hey. So, this guy's the man, she's the apprentice. This fish is about to what, hit the grill? We're gonna hit the grill, we lightly season it, we got the grill warming up, we'll put it on there for a couple minutes, and it's good to go. Okay, and then do we chop it after the grill? Depending this on how the pieces come, you can either chop it or just put a nice piece on there. Nice, okay. So. Food is prepped. Next up is the grill. The final piece is the plate. So we'll see you at the grill. So I got the grill preheated. It's about 450 degrees. It's nice and hot. These are uh, uh, nice little fillets, so they're not gonna take long. Seasoned up, just dropping them right on there. And with dolphin, you don't have to cook it that long, and this is really hot. We're just gonna give them a couple minutes. Sometimes you can close it or keep it open, but this is a nice hot grill, so I'm gonna keep it open for a minute here and give them a flip. While the fish is cooking, we're gonna make a lime crema, and it's best to make this ahead of time because while it's sitting, it all just tastes better. The flavors come together. It's really simple and easy. 
So all you need is sour cream, uh, lime, and salt and pepper. So we're just gonna, oh, and garlic. Cut up already. Thank you for that. So now we're just gonna squeeze our sour cream in there. You want a good amount, depending on how many people you are making this for. So we have that. Then we're gonna add some uh, pepper, a little bit of that, and then a little bit of salt. And then one whole lime. So you just squeeze that in there. Perfecto. And then we can stir it up once that's in there. Lime's important. Helps all the flavors come together. Okay. Just give that a nice stir. Yep, looks good. And this is just gonna go on top, drizzle on top of our tacos once it's done. So that's that. All right, so the grill master has returned. Look at these beautiful blackened dolphin fillets. His daughter Cameron just dished up a beautiful slaw dressing here while he was out at the grill. So Cameron, once again, what's in this concoction? So this is a must have with fish tacos. It's so yummy. So we have mango, we have cabbage, lime, salt, pepper, and a little bit of this Key West company sauce, or seasoning, I'm sorry. This is very good. Green salsa. It's a little spicy, but it's really good. Little we have jalapeno, jalapeno. <laughs> um, cilantro. Cilantro, sorry, and green onions. And yeah, you just mix that all together. Oh, olive oil. That also helps just grease it up and that's your slaw. It's really, really good. And so they're gonna go a Tex-Mex version as well, but I'm so hungry and this slaw looks so flipping delicious that I said, I gotta try this now. But first, so kudos to the chef. Great job, Cameron, for doing it up in the kitchen. And hey, you can't have fish tacos in the Keys without a delicious margarita. Oh, now we're talking. Cheers, my man. Cheers. All right, plate me up. Let's get this bad boy yeah, together. Let's get some fish. Yeah, let's move these so you can see. Little fish. Okay. So Slaw goes on Slaw. next. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm and then we got a little the... bit crumbled queso cheese. All right, all right. Um, I'm in. A drizzle of our crema. I like that it. Too. I'm not counting calories right now, so it's all good. <laughs> and then I would say a squeeze of wine. Do a little squeeze of wine. A squeeze there. Perfect. There you go. <laughs> now you have. Do we do we call this anything in the Costello house? We call it our island taco. Island, island fish taco. Island taco. Mm -hmm. Take a look at that bad boy. I just can't even wait. See what this finished product oh, is like. Oh, really good. I didn't get one. Mmm. <laughs> oh my god. No, seriously. This is freaking amazing. You know what? I'm not even a huge mango guy, but the blend of all the flavors—the mango, the sour cream drizzle, the slaw, and all these delicious fresh seasonings that are in it. I'm telling you right now, maybe we need to in the comments actually put some of these ingredients down for you guys because amazing. All right. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, another fish blue water video down here in the Keys having a great time. We turned a day of dolphin fishing into a little bit of a how to behind the filet table and an amazing, amazing soft taco dish that we are going to enjoy for lunch. See you next time on Fish Blue Water. Bye.